In these problems, we're talking about the segment addition postulate. And a postulate is just one of those fancy geometry words for something we can all agree on. Uh, in this case, what we're agreeing on is the, the fact that if you have a, a line segment that's divided into two smaller segments, so this line segment that goes from A to C is made up of the part A to B and B to C. And the idea here is that if you add this part to this part, you'd get the whole length. And that should be obvious just by looking at it. So if this was one and this was two, the whole thing would be three. That's the basic idea behind the segment addition postulate. So let's look at a couple of problems uh, that use this. Uh, this first one says if BC equals 15, and they've got that labeled here, so that's segment from B to C. And it says AC equals 27. So let's go ahead and label that ourselves from A to C. So that's that whole length there. Find the length of AB. So we want to find this one. So the segment addition postulate says the AB part plus the BC part should equal 27. So if I just subtract 15 from 27, I should get the AB part. So 27 minus 15 equals 12. So segment AB should be 12. Let's look at another one here. It says, let C be between D and E. And you know, just to keep from getting confused, I think it's a really good idea to, to draw a picture of these things. So C is between D and E. So D and E must be on the ends. So here's D. Here's E, and C is somewhere in between. I'll just put it there. OK. Use the segment addition postulate to solve for R. And they're telling us that DC is 3R minus 12. So that's this length right here. And I'll just write that in, 3R minus 12. And CE is 4R minus 9. So that's this chunk right here, so 4R minus 9. And then it says DE, oh, and that's the whole thing from D to E, is 35. OK. So the segment addition postulate says that this chunk DC and this chunk CE, if you add them together, they should equal the total here from D to E. So we're going to make an equation out of these facts and try to solve it for R. In this case, it's pretty easy. I just have to add these two chunks together. So I'm going to put a plus right here. And those together should equal 35. All right, let's see about solving this one. Um, I think the first step we need to do is combine like terms. We have 3r and 4r. They're both positive. That would add up to 7r. And then let's see, we have a negative 12 and a negative 9. What is that? Negative 21. So 7r minus 21 equals 35. I need to get the R term alone, so I need to get rid of this negative 21. So I'm going to do the opposite. I'm going to add 21. Of course, I have to do that to both sides. Let me rewrite this over here now. Uh, these will add up to 0, so I'll just have 7R. And 35 plus 21 should be 56. And then finally, to solve for R, we just need to divide both sides by 7. So this cancels, and we get R equals Eight. So that's a little bit of work with the segment addition postulate.